Today we will be talking about blood glucose monitoring and I'll also be demonstrating the proper technique for checking blood sugar levels at home. If you have diabetes, monitoring blood sugar levels provides valuable, real-time feedback about what's going on inside your body. Knowing your numbers allows you to better understand how things like food, physical activity, medications, and a whole bunch of other things can influence blood sugar levels. Blood sugar goals for most adults are 80 to 130 before meals and under 180, one to two hours after meals. You will work with your provider to decide what your recommended blood sugar ranges are, and your doctor will also recommend how many times a day and when you should check your blood sugar. These recommendations are based on the type of medication you are taking, the type of diabetes you have, illness, and other factors. Let's review the proper technique for checking blood sugar. Having good technique helps to ensure accurate results. Let's look at the components inside your kit. You should have a blood sugar monitor, a vial which contains testing strips, a lancing device to poke your finger, and a box of lancets. Lancets contain the needle that will go inside your lancing device. First, wash your hands with warm soap and water. This helps remove any food, lotion, or other substances which may give you a false reading. Warm water also helps with circulation so it's easier to get a decent sized drop of blood. Make sure to dry your hands. We will begin by getting the lancing device ready. Remove the cap of the device and place a fresh lancet inside. Changing lancets regularly will help with comfort. A fresh lancet is sharper and more comfortable to poke your finger compared to a dull one. Then select the depth you would like to use to poke your finger. Most at home lancing devices come with an adjustable depth setting. One is typically the most shallow poke and a higher number provides a deeper poke if fingertips are tough or calloused. To activate your lancing device, because it is spring-loaded, you will need to either slide or pull back on something to activate the spring. For this lancing device, hold it in the middle with one hand and slowly pull back on the other end with your other hand. You will feel or hear a click, and the button you need to press will pop up. If you can't press the button down, you have not pulled back far enough to activate the spring. Next, turn your machine on by inserting a strip into the slot. When you do this, the machine will turn on within a few seconds and you will see a flashing drop on the screen. This signals that the machine is ready to use. Now take your lancing device and lightly press the end of the lancing device where there's a small opening against your fingertip. The best place to poke is on the side of your fingertip or the top. Avoid the center of the pad as it can be more sensitive. After you poke, gently squeeze your finger to produce a drop of blood. Use a squeeze-release, squeeze-release technique until a drop is produced that is big enough for your machine to accept. Once you have a decent sized drop of blood, touch it to the tip of your testing strip and the strip will absorb the drop. A result will appear on the screen of the meter within about five seconds. It is helpful to keep a record of your results for future review. You can do this in a notebook or by connecting your machine to the True Manager Air app. Remember to bring your meter and logbook to your clinic appointments. Remember to dispose of lancets in a puncture-proof plastic container. Here are a few additional tips about checking blood sugar. If you have trouble getting a decent sized blood drop, hang your hands at your side and shake them like you're shaking a thermometer before you poke your finger. This helps get blood flow to the fingertips. It is important that you rotate the fingers you check so they don't get sore. And remember you can check any finger you want on either hand. Properly store your meter and testing strips. Avoid extreme temperatures and store your strips in the vial with the lid closed. If you cannot wash your hands, clean your fingertips with alcohol. 
If you do this, make sure you let the fingertip dry and remove the first drop of blood you get with a gauze or a cotton ball, not the alcohol wipe. You will then get a second drop of blood and use that for the test strip. This will minimize contamination of the blood drop with alcohol, which can give you a false slow reading. If you have any questions about your blood sugar readings, call your primary care clinic or contact your diabetes specialist. You can also utilize Denver Health's nurse line, which is open 24 hours a day. If you have questions or concerns about your machine, consult your owner's manual or contact the 1-800 customer service number located on the back of the machine. Thanks for watching.